radionic circuit you need the use of a pre-programmed pendulum uh, pre-programmed with mu so I just activate it by saying the word mu give me a yes give me a yes as you can see the pendulum is giving me an affirmative stop 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 Okay. Give me a no. Give me a no. Give me a no. Give me a no. Okay. Just backwards and forwards, alright? So now we pre programmed the pendulum. Stop, stop. I tell it to stop every time. And I like dogs, you have to train them. Okay? So now we have uh, the pendulum which is pre programmed. So as you can see, I have placed here a sample of the client's hair, it's a DNA sample, uh, on the roughly on the sample box. Again, it doesn't have to be precise because it's only a symbolic, of course, a symbolic representation. And the circuit will then analyze the DNA of the client in the analyzer box. Okay. And now it's necessary to determine the degree of the various um, energies that need to be applied to the circuit. Uh, so for this, um, it's necessary to use the pendulum and these particular dials. So the first thing I do is I simply touch the analyzer box here and I say the word activate. So immediately the circuit is now analyzing the DNA of the client and if I come up to this symbol here on the left hand side if this is called the creation injector and I now have to determine the degree of creative energy which needs to be transmitted or included within the transmission of this radionic circuit so all I do basically is I just touch the number one and I say uh, Basically, just very quickly in my mind, say, is this the, is this the one? Nope. Number two. Number two. Number three. Yes. Stop, stop. So the first affirmative answer you get, in this case, is number three. And uh, so it's three on the creation injector dial. All right. Uh, so basically, you carry on for the other four components, which I will do uh, now, in fact. Uh, but I won't show that on camera. 